Hello everybody, it's Isaac with Luigi Big Mac and welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time, we did a lot of things. We saw, we, well we saw a uh, Girl Scout, that uh, suicide bomb, uh, a few uh, of those guys right there. They're funny looking guys. Uh, and we're also in the best level in the game by the way. Uh, anyway, if you guys haven't watched any of the episodes in the series, you're going to be extra lost at this one. Uh, with that being said... to fly helicopters <laughs> we are looking for the milkman we don't know where he is helicopters can go up and down man these guys are dumb hey wait what's that I'll bet that's him Milkman. Helicopters move sideways too, but not as fast as planes. <laughs> it's on that remote island over there. What the heck is that sound? Anyways. Hello? Who is the milkman? Boy, is this you? I think I found the milkman. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who is this? Okay, from now on, your name isn't Boyd. It's Roy, because you're such a big pain in my butt. If you see the lady tossing the cookies, run away. <laughs> yep, anyway, so we're supposed to grind on those rails. However, I have some different plans. First thing first. First thing first, we need, we need the gun. I'm worried the other assassins are going to make fun of me. I'm just going to mosey on past here. Don't mind me. I am found on rooftops, in clock towers, and book depositories. Let's see. There's also a uh, figment hairy mist. Uh, and then, for, just to be safe, let's equip the, uh, the plunger. Due to illegal disposal of hazardous materials, sewer water is often highly radioactive. I need to prevent blockages, and this device is one of my tools. Anyways, we now have the phone, which means we can now go through the phone, man, up right here. I am a skilled phone repairer. Come work on the phone lines with us. He also, he also, uh, he's, I also, I also like the different animations they have with these things. Like, like the, uh, the trim hedge guys, uh, will, will, like, start swallowing it. Also, this is the other reason why I came over here. So, so we can, so we can get, uh, the extra life. Boyd, hired again! And there's Oleander. Hypnotizing him with some milk. Turning him into a security guard. And we also got that, so we can, in theory, nap all of the uh, missing emotional, uh, emotional baggage. Because uh, we're missing two. I don't remember where the streamer trunk is. Uh, but we know where the hat box is. And then we're gonna go... We're gonna go, uh, this way. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that can also happen, by the way. And it also drops this back here, but we got... Uh, let's put the phone real quick. Alright, we're gonna slow down a bit so we don't go flying off again. There we go. 
Now we no, now we no longer have to worry. Operator, I am fixing the telephone lines. Right. We just we just need to find that one house that has the. Uh... I am a waste management technician. There it is. It was right here the whole time. Let's equip our plunger. I work in the sewers. So we got that. Let's head back into the sewers. And then let's grab the telf I said telephone. He he just threw the phone. Ah uh, and this guy again. This the fucking squirrel. GG, easy fight. And then... There we go. Come here, there we go. Anyway, let's re-equip the phone again. Watch out, fellow assassin. There seems to be someone shooting at us from that tower. He was not supposed to say that, but uh, for a minute there, I thought I had the uh, the fake gun on for some reason. Yeah, it's possible to collect all the figments because you have to go through uh, those lines again and again. So I'm just I'm just gonna stick to one line. Anyways, we no longer need the uh the phone or anything. All right. Oop. No, I want. You there, and I want you here. There we go. Yeah, because there's stuff back here that we need to grab. And somewhere around here... Somewhere I think I missed the, uh... Uh, the streamer trunk, uh... Guy somewhere. Unless I didn't look on the other side. Yeah, he's not here. This is unfortunate. But anyway, now there's two different ways to do this next part, because invisibility is not required. Just a minute! Who is it? Hello? Yep. So, so she'll walk out, then use the time to sneak past her. However, Just a what you can do... You have, to, you have to be very quick on the draw with it. But the easiest way would be to, to turn invisible and sneak past. Damn it! Now I have to wait for the uh, cooldown for invisibility. Well then. Just a minute. Gosh, I sure hope someone is there this time. Who is it? Hello, right there. It better not be that creepy guy again. 
Who is it? Hello? <sighs> Damn it. Damn it! God damn it! Luckily, I sure hope someone is there this time. Who is it? Hello? There we go. Oh, hello, sir. Have you come to pay this? This is also a pretty good scene. Here they all come. Also, notice that we haven't found any sensors. Yep, here they are. And now we're down here. And there he is, the milkman. Alright then. Uh let me get let me, let me, Uh, yeah, I think that's a... It's also very easy to just uh, sniper. Alrighty then, we're gonna need this now, and then invisibility. Okay. Okay, new, new change of plan. We are going to need this now. There we go. Alright guys, here he comes. Now repeat after me. <clears throat> I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. The sea shall, shall run white <laughs> with his rage. Now, I'm just going to sit back and let you guys watch this, because this is a good scene. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. 
<laughs> you guys can see why this is my favorite uh, level of the game. Ah, oh, gotta love the milkman cons cons conspiracy. Best level in the game. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd, are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding, exploding dream, dream kind. kind. It's fortified with what the world wants. What the, what the world, world deserves. deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? Anyways, so now we have access to the asylum. This is like a second uh, hub world to us, by the way. Now, now as we... Now, oops, let me uh, re-equip levitation. As we move around here, we'll find. Don't worry, Frankie. I'll put this one right next to Kitty's. I don't know. I don't know why he kisses the yes. brains. I got a brain. Finally, now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Sheesh. You and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? Yep, uh, we're not gonna do- we're not gonna do that yet. First, we have a few orders of business we need to do. Yeah, I also- I also gotta love the, uh, the theme this game has for, uh... For, uh, what do you call it? We have a gold watch. Anyways, so I, li I like the I like the uh, the theme Dev Dad has playing here for the uh, what do you call it? JT's brain. How this little doggy get out of the pen? I uh, like like the theme of place of the asylum. Let's see. I know there's like two more we can grab somewhere. Anyway, let's look to a void. Hey boy. Why are you trying to burn down the asylum? I am the milkman. My employer has commissioned me to deliver this milk to whitewash what went on here. I make sure no evidence is left of anything except for milk. I cannot rest until I have made my final delivery. I cannot rest until I have made my final delivery. Well, there's well, there's no uh, convincing him not to. Anyways. Oh, for a minute there, I thought we were supposed to burn it. Uh, I guess not. Anyway, there's another card here. We have another brain here we can grab. Kitty's brain. You know, I hate to say it, but it is better groomed than the rest of the brains. Let's see, and there's. I'm pretty sure there's like one more brain we can grab somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Uh, let me let me explore around here a bit more real quick. Okay, we can't go in there just yet. Oh. Can't climb on that. We can go in here, but I don't see any more brains. Because let's see, there was the one right here, there was the one over there, and there was the one out there. So maybe we did grab all of them. There's none out here. And Kitty's was right there. I don't see any more. Could, let's see. There could have been one right there, but I don't see it. Well. Well, before. Well. Before we move on, we might as. 
We might as well head back to. We might as well head back to Ford. Hey, why don't you just take a little nibble of that and see if I can taste it too? Well, I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. Anyway, time to time to bring in some. Uh... How did I miss a card here? Hold on a second, folks. How the hell did I miss one? Uh, anyways. Now, we might be wondering, what's the point of bringing back the brains? Well, now that he asked. Well, the good thing about you finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. <coughs> yes, eh? Yes. But not dangerous. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure. See ya! And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Cut them, Aras. I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. Agent Crawler, what is the current situation? I'm ready to go back into the field. Okay, let's see if I remember exactly where you were. Yep, so anyway, we're going to fast travel back. Unfortunately, it's going to bring us back to the uh, front here, but that's fine. I swear, if I find another brain, I'll be, I'll be mildly annoyed. Oh, that's back now. Excellent. And I don't see, I don't see another one anywhere. So we're good to move the plot along. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Hmm. You found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey, what? You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> well then. Time for one of these. Oh, if you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. Anyway, welcome here. Cut! Hey, kid! Can't you see I'm trying to produce a play here? Uh, no. Oh, God! Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky. Get a grip. Child? Look, kid. It wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Agatha Home. Uh -oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp <laughs> stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic. He happens to be right. I'll go talk to Bonita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Bonita to take the stage again. And you're the star of my show, kid. Anyways. 
Uh, so, so the fun, so the fun part about using clairvoyance, uh, is, well, first thing first, let's collect this figment here. You can use it on other characters, and they'll see you differently. So, she views me as, uh, as, like, a clipboard and such. Uh, that's our little buddy there. Actually, does our little buddy see us as anything? Ah, a package. That makes, that makes sense. And then the critic. Actually, are, are we sure? Do, do, do we actually get the uh, critic here? Maybe I should come back later when he's not sleeping. He looks too mean to wake up. I need the purse tag here. <laughs> okay, so so we sold. So this is what the uh, the luggage look uh, uh, thinks we look like. Got it. Anyway, we have. We have all these figments here to collect in the seats. Anyway. Also, I forgot to mention, this is probably my least favorite, uh... Love... Like, if we're not counting the final level, and I'll... Believe me, I'll get to that when, uh, when we get there. This is probably my least favorite level. For one simple reason. Got it. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. Anyway, let me just uh, move around very fast here. I guess he somehow got through, uh... Megman Conspiracy, this- Hey! Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Anyways, time for us to go invisible. Let's stick our way in. Let's just, uh, collect all these real quick. Uh, uh, uh. I love it when I get stuck. Okay. All right, let's let's talk to Bonita here. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when. Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine, the spirit of her youth? Yes. That's me. What do you want? An autograph? I'm kind of busy here. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of glorious, terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Yet, I, I, I do like the fact that Bonita sounds like a, uh, like, like a, like a hooker, like, like a, like a woman who... Who like smoked so much that her voice just kind of gone? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage for the fans? If you can get me some help out there, so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work, but you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. <laughs> So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs> Anyways, let's go through here. Punch you. Glorious Cruel Training. Hang the home for for girls. Man. 
Well, that kind of made me sad for a moment there. Oop. Well then. Anyway, we found him. Yeah, so, one thing I, so I think I remember mentioning somewhere that, uh, uh that levitation ball kind of trivializes this whole thing. Yeah. Case in point right there. But then let's grab this. There we go. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. All right, now we now we got a candle. Oh, that this is Bonnie's room. I I'm gonna leave. Let's head out backstage and also let's also grab that suitcase while we're on the way here. Also, just remembered we never really saw the animation for the suitcase. Because if I recall correctly, the suitcase is the one we just did, we did not get from basic training. We got everything else. So now that's done. Now on the way, let's put this candle here, and then there we go. Oh god, oh god, I hated it. I hate it already. The famous actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! And where would Gloria be without her youth? Her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth. Late tonight. And there we go. Phantom. I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace, and it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. <laughs> you know, he could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock him dead, I promise. Whoop. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. All right then. Well, let's let's go talk to the critic. Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah, can't get there from here. <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what have I said? That's almost impossible. Forget about it. The theater is doomed. Anyway. Be so hard on Benita. I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. I ain't scared of no phantom. 
Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Benina's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe! She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars! I'll fuck, I'll fucking shrink all your- Oh wait, y'all did Damn it! If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No. I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky, and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. All right then, uh, let's equip uh, clairvoyance on oh, this guy. Oh, you see, he has this one and a half stars, like you said. Wow. Anyway, let's give this to. Uh... Well, let's put this away first. Now, here's the main gimmick with the set. You can go here. And then you can change the set. I, I fucking hate this. Just yes? I, yeah, I. Yeah, that kind of annoys me there. Uh, anyways. Uh, let's see what we're, let's see what happens if we mess with that move thing that, uh, the critic was talking about. Gloria must be in a good mood now. And this is what happens when you make things sad. Also, there's a dragon. Yep, and here's the annoying part about this. Uh, let me equip the shield real quick, because this is going to get very annoying. <laughs> at least, at least the dogs are easy to deal with. The other guys, not so much. Also, you die. Oh, they're both dead. Excellent. And our side power's upgraded, so that's so that's neat. Uh, anyways, let's grab out that script we have. Night of Joy.
drop hot air balloon down from the catwalk and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other plate for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. Hey, what's this? A new script? There we go. Night of joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just lay it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Anyways. Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script everybody. Let's practice. There we go. Dragon's dead. My father has nobly smoked in the face to his own death. He is a hero. Yay. For the record, not a bad kisser. Now, each time you, uh, we did a play. Now, each time you uh, redo a play, the enemies respawn again, which is very annoying. With that being said, however... The day the mailboat finally came... Let's see, if I remember correctly, I think we need to make things happy again? I, and I hate this. I hate this lovey-dovey music already. All right, let's tr let's give this to the, to uh, to the uh, di director. Oh, another script. The day the mailboat finally came. Uh oh. Prop department. I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Laces, everyone. Now let's let's see let's see how bad this is going to be. I say, I believe I do see the mailboat approaching. Up there, that yep, we did right. I want to see if I, if I can kill these actors. Guess not. Anyway, you hop on this boat and it brings you to another set. Anyway, so we're on here now, and we, goodbye Hagatha home, and we just go through here, and then if I recall, Go through here. Oh, who would have thought that I, Gloria Von Guten, would be starring in my own Broadway musical at such a young age? I hope my mother is proud of me. Well, here it goes. 
Huzzah, forsooth. What is thine sweet smell in the air? Oh, jeez. Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this coal of love, forever young and twisty. Rejoice, for spring has beset in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering. You know, I should mention, I am not a big fan of theater. Oh fucking god, I hate it. So, so when it comes, so when it comes to uh, like stage plays and all that, I'm not really a big fan of them. Just mainly because it's not really my thing. It's kind of boring. With that being said, I did see Phantom of the Opera one time, and that one was actually pretty good. I I did in fact enjoy that one. And uh, let's see. <coughs> I also saw I also saw an opera for like uh, for a music class. I mean, it was alright. They didn't, didn't, didn't know, didn't know what half the shit was going on there. Anyway, I'm too busy. Anyway, I think I rambled on for way too long because it is, it is the end of the episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the content I do, please consider subscribing as I'll, as I'll really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to comment and like as well. I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, night in the world. A good morning, afternoon, night in the world, and I'll see you guys in the next episode as Raz is currently bowing. There we go. Uh, oh god, there's a fruit fly in here. We need to kill that fucker. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, buh-buh. <laughs>